Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland. This is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. I hope you're well. Thank you for listening. And before we continue, please get yourself into a comfortable position, lying down on a a bed or flat surface or sitting in a comfortable chair that supports your body. Now, just like you to get yourself prepared to just let go. What does letting go mean to you? To me, it's just, I guess it's almost surrendering to what is, just accepting how things are, accepting how I feel. And just relaxing into those feelings. And this doesn't mean that, you know, overall I, I accept everything that's happening in my life. But just for a short period of time, just for this reason, you know, to just to relax and maybe to fall asleep. It's nice to just abandon all of those wants and needs and expectations of how things should be instead of reality, which is how things are. And even though The reality is what it is now doesn't mean it can't change because of course it can because things are always changing. So accepting how things are now doesn't mean that we just give in up. You're just letting go for a while. Letting go of that stuff that creates those thoughts in your mind that may have in the past seemed to get in the way of you relaxing or drifting off to sleep gently and naturally. So just accepting what is Almost embracing reality. Because when you embrace reality, you actually break through a lot of that falseness. You break through worries because we don't worry about reality. We worry about what might happen, what we think may happen. We worry about fantasy. So when you focus on reality, or not even focus on it, just accept it, you're no longer fantasizing about all the horrible things that might occur in the future because let's face it if you wanted to stop yourself from falling asleep if you wanted to stop yourself from feeling relaxed The best way to do it is to think about all the horrible stuff. All the things that you're worried about, concerned about. 
thinking about things in the past that have happened that you're unhappy about, you wish hadn't happened. Thinking about things that you regret. That's a brilliant way to stop yourself from relaxing. A great way to stop yourself from falling asleep. And, you know, excellent way to get those thoughts bubbling around in your mind that seem to just cling like diarrhea. So, therefore, the opposite is true. By letting go of those thoughts, by letting go of that thinking, that worrying, that focusing on the negative. Instead of focusing on what might be, you can just accept what is at the moment. Knowing that everything's going to change. Nothing stays the same. That's just one of the truths of life. It's not something that I've just made up. I'm no great philosopher. It's just a truth. Things constantly change. And we all know that. And in some ways, none of us like it either. We don't like it when we're something changes that we don't want to change. Yet how often do we appreciate it when something changes that's good for us, that's useful? How often are we actually grateful for that? Instead of just focusing on the things that change that we don't want to. The amount of times that, you know, I've been waiting, like I've been in pain or something and then the pain goes. How often do I actually appreciate the fact that change has occurred, which means that that pain didn't last, whether it's physical or emotional. Like anyone would know if you you can shave your arms, but they only stay hairless if you keep shaving them. Unless you get alopecia, of course, but forgetting, <laughs> forgetting that, generally. So... Things continue. That's what I mean by the arms. Like, the hair will continue to grow. Things continue to move forward all the time. It may seem like things are moving backwards at times. Maybe they are in some ways. It might seem like that. But ultimately, no matter how many steps backwards it might seem that we're taking... We always end up ahead, eventually. So what would you, what advice would you give to somebody that you care about that's saying, oh, I'm, I'm laying in bed and I'm worrying about stuff and I'm Concerned about all these different scenarios that may occur connected to this thing that I'm worried about. Now a lot of people say, oh yeah, I'm worried about stuff as well. And it's almost, uh, oh, let's all join in on the game. Uh, and that's of no use to that person. It's of no use to it, anyone. But maybe say to that person well how do you expect to get to sleep if you're thinking about stuff you don't like 
How are you expected to enjoy a meal in a restaurant if, you know, if you're thinking about something horrible? You know, I have a chicken dinner. But if you're thinking about that chicken being killed, you might not enjoy that dinner so much. Now, some vegetarians and vegans might applaud at that idea. So good for you if that's what you like but you're probably not going to enjoy it if you're thinking about horrible stuff and if you're always thinking about oh this is going to end this is going to this is this nice time is going to be over you know you're on holiday for a week and every day you wake up and you think oh, oh another day is going to go soon and they'll then I'll be back at home doing the job that perhaps I don't like so much. And there, 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 there. Before you know it, the holiday's over. And you may have spent 20 or 30% of your time worrying about the holiday being over too soon. And some people say, well, I can't control. I can't control my mind. I can't control what I think about. To to a degree, that's true. You know, to a degree, you know, what happens, our brains do tend to just pop stuff up. Like a little jack-in-the-box. But it's not so much whether or not stuff arises or not. Because stuff does arise, it's just natural. It's what we do with it. Do we focus on the thoughts that arise? And the more you relax your mind and your body, the less of that stuff arises anyway, because you're in a different state of mind. When you're feeling more relaxed. Generally. Things start. To slow down. Your mind starts to slow down. Your thoughts start to slow down. So there's less of them. And that stickiness that maybe your mind tends to have when it comes to thoughts during the day or when you're awake or you know, normal times, that stickiness seems to just diminish. It's almost as if It just doesn't work anymore. Like Vaseline has been just rubbed around the floors of your mind and the walls. So these thoughts can't stay. They just slide around. They can't do anything. They can't attach themselves to you. They don't have any power. They don't have any energy. Because the only way they the can have energy is by you giving them energy. By you focusing on them. Because you focus on one thought, then another thought comes, and another thought comes, and that whole stream of consciousness occurs. And the more relaxed you become, that stream of consciousness, those linked thoughts, change direction. And also get very, very lazy. To the point where you may even forget what it was you were thinking about. And you may, in your mind, kind of try to get the thought back, but it just won't come back. And it just 
disappears. This can happen to all thoughts in your mind as you become even more relaxed. Moving closer to sleep means that those thoughts start to become a bit muddled, a bit disjointed. almost incoherent in a way as opposed to how perhaps they sometimes are at other times. It's almost as if there's there's no point to having them and your mind knows that. There's nothing to be gained from focusing on something that you don't need or benefit from. As that comfort increases in your body, in your mind, Everything does seem to just move slower. And it's a nice feeling. It's a comforting feeling. It's quite pleasant to have it occur gradually. Slowly. So that you actually feel quite comfortable in the present, in the now, accepting reality. But then you move from accepting reality to really not caring about it. You no longer care about anything, the more relaxed you become. Because you don't need to care about anything when you're relaxed and sleepy. Nothing needs your attention. Nothing deserves your attention. The thing that you do deserve is to have those eight hours or nine hours or seven hours or however long you want for you. Or maybe if it's just relaxing, half an hour or an hour, your space, your time, your rules, as you decide to just let go, let go of all of that stuff that may seem to demand your attention during the day, during your waking hours. And even though you may notice that gradually over time you feel more relaxed during the day because your mind and your body starts to enjoy, appreciate and realize the benefits of relaxing and letting go and slowing down to the point where those healing, relaxing processes occur naturally.
naturally within you. Effortlessly, easily and naturally relaxing and feeling calm as your mind slows way down. You get a real sense of Feeling completely peaceful. Feeling completely at ease within yourself. And it's a really nice feeling, regardless of how relaxing it is for your mind or how relaxing your body feels, the different parts of your body just melting into deep relaxation with every passing second. There's also the, the general feeling overall feeling of wellness and deep comfort that comes from experiencing regular relaxation increasing more and more each and every day, spreading deeper and further, and really enjoying this experience of comfort and calmness, deep, deep calmness relaxation, deep, deep comfort, looseness, and there's a real sense of peace that continues to grow continues to grow stronger and stronger enveloping your entire body and mind your entire body and mind Deeper and deeper, relaxed and calm, deeply relaxed, so very calm, loose and peaceful. relaxed in a way that maybe feels unusual, but pleasant, calmer and calmer Looser and looser.
things slowing down even more, slowing down, it's almost as if everything's just moving further and further away, further and further away, into the distance. Drifting. Drifting. Your mind drifting and your body. to the distance, so far away, slowly, so slowly, peaceful, Enjoying the peacefulness of this moment, spreading through your mind and spreading through every muscle in your body, that peacefulness in through every particle of your existence, deeper and deeper, drifting. Deeper and deeper, drifting, ten, drifting deeply, nine, drifting Seven, drifting deeply, six, drifting deeply,
die 